Mayhem and Burzum are two very, very important bands in the black metal genre. Now, they have some iconic albums. Mayhem has Demisterius Dom Satanas, and Burzum has Philosophum. So if you're a guitar player, and you listen to these albums thinking, hey, this is cool, let me try learning the songs. You see some tabs online, you see a few videos, you learn how to play the riff, and then the time comes to play along with these albums, and you will probably notice that your guitar will sound different compared to the recordings. Demisterius and Philosophum both use very unique tunings, and I finally discovered them. So let's talk about Demisterius Tom Satanas first. What I'm going to do is play a few riffs from some of the songs of that album in standard tuning, and then I'm going to play the songs in the album tuning. <laughs> tuning. Well it's standard E but it's tuned to 432 Hertz which is why when you're playing along to the song your guitar sounds a little bit sharp. So it's a slightly lower tuning than standard. More than E flat but less than standard E and it's quite a core tuning. So I'm just going to jam around in this tuning a bit more just so you can hear the difference slightly.
So that's the Demisterius tuning, but what about the Philosophum tuning? tuning is standard E tuned at 450 Hertz. That's why when you're playing along to the songs it sounds like your guitar is slightly flat. So why is it that these bands were tuned differently? The, the honest answer is I'm not really sure. I think Varg Vikanes has maybe mentioned in an interview that he didn't even tune his guitar before his recordings which I can agree with especially with this Philosopher album. So if you listen to Jesus Dodd compared to Dunkelheit, you'll hear that the guitar is very, very slightly higher in pitch compared to Dunkelheit, which is interesting because that to me says maybe Varg had recorded Jesus Dodd first and then Dunkelheit um, because, you know, whilst he was playing the guitar, it, the strings might have just gone slightly out of tune. So it might have been cold in Norway. That could have been one of the reasons why the guitar strings were tuned higher. I'm not sure. Um, but the Demisterius album, I, I'm, I'm really not sure why the frequencies was at 432. It is what it is. So before we finish up, I'm just going to play a few more riffs in the Burzum tuning and then explain a bit more about this new guitar. There we have it. 
those are the tunings for Demisteries and Philosophum. So yes, I am playing a new guitar in this video and this is another Donner. This is by far the best Donner guitar you can get. It's the Donner DMT100, 24 frets, 25 and a half inch scale, humbucker pickups. You can pick a white or a black satin finish. So how does this guitar play? Well, it'll be very, very familiar if you've played a solar guitars. Like one of my students has a solar A2.6 in white as well. And when it comes to the color, it's very, very similar. This is a bit more matte. The solar has like some kind of shininess to it, like some shiny flake in the paint probably. The neck is very, very slightly different. I think the solar is just a bit thinner, but this is a very, very kind of modern feeling neck, like a more kind of D-shaped Ibanez that's not so thin. It's, re it's really quite nice actually. And the fretboard is different on the solars because they use like a type of ebony. Uh, this is a different wood, but still this guitar plays and sounds pretty damn good as you've heard. And aesthetically, it looks really cool. And thank you all for watching.